Welcome to part 75 of GTA San Andreas. People screaming in terror aside, we're going to still continue with the robbery missions. Now this one is definitely a glitch heavy one. By glitch heavy, I mean there is a certain spot you need to land, otherwise your weapons will be disabled temporarily. Oh, you will see that glitch, because this happens on all platforms, even Xbox and Xbox 360. So with that said, let's start Damn and Blast. Seem impossible to keep a secret around here. I would have thought the size of the room would keep the numbers down. Hey, speak up. We can't hear you back here. I appreciate your input, but please, fuck off. What'd he say? <laughs> he said fuck off. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, what are you still doing here? I live here. Oh, okay. You can stay. Great. Hey, where's the coffee and donuts? Okay, look. I'm gonna go shut off the city's power source. Wolves, look after these fools for me. Okay. Now, the important thing to remember with a plan like this is that nothing can go wrong. All right, now what we're going to do today is we're going to fly over to the dam. But first, we have to actually drive over to the airport. And once we fly over to the dam, we're going to go there bypass security, rigged explosives, and that should pretty much deal with the dam. As I stated earlier, in part 64, the airplane is your worst enemy, because you've got to reach a certain altitude in order for you to get to, oh god damn it, stupid police, anyway. And I was trying to say was, you have to reach a certain altitude in order for you to get to the Corona that's in the middle of the screen. But first, you have to drive over to the airport. Now, there is no skip function in this mission if you fail it. And the only way you will fail it is if you die or get busted along the way. Or die if you happen to be in the uh, vicinity. Otherwise, this is one of those missions where if you play your cards right, whether you're glitched or not, you'll be able to get through that section where you're going through the dam and putting bombs on the generators with no problems. Now, the plane that we will be taking is at the end of the runway. Will that plane be there after we're finished? Nope. It sure will. Well, actually, no. Yes, it will. It's kind of going to be used again later on. Anyway. Go on the other side, CJ. Go on the other side. Nope, nope, nope. Don't go in the cockpit. Go on the other side. There we go. Now, this jet... Probably be used in three more flying missions. Oh, let me rephrase that two more flying missions. So, yeah. You need to have, make sure your plane climbs altitude really high. I kind of prematurely took off, but uh, I had to try to stabilize this plane. Yeah, remember, NOE at flying school. At least it'll be easier to stabilize this plane. And sometimes if you miss the Corona, just try to make your way back and get to the Corona. But once you get to the Corona, you gotta jump out and parachute into the area of the dam. Now, I just passed up the damn Corona because I was too low in altitude. Because the plane 
isn't climbing up like talking about it. It's still at a hot, at a low altitude, meaning I'm gonna have to go back and get it at the proper altitude. <sighs> so with that said, instead of wasting everybody's time, I'll get to the Corona. I'll see you when I get to the Corona, okay? And we're back. After constantly missing the Corona, we finally got here, but due to this positioning, it will kind of screw you over. No, no, it'll screw me over. See, if I was going straight through, like, from front to back, instead of coming in from the west or the east side, I would at least be closer to my destination. But instead, due to the positioning of the plane, I'll have to reposition myself and try not to land too far. I should have opened up my parachute also, because I was at a very low altitude. But I didn't realize it until I just started seeing water. So, yeah. Now I'm going to be gently floating and I will barely miss the mark. That's the thing. If you, As I stated before when this mission started, if you land in the Corona, you're... Well, I didn't actually state that part, but I did say your weapons will be disabled in this mission. See, if you land in that Corona, your weapons will be available to you. But if you don't, like I will, your weapons will be disabled. In short, once I land, for the time being, I will be unarmed. Which will suck, royally. Huh, and the fact that I missed that landing, or pretty much didn't open up my parachute in time, kind of made things a little bad. Despite this rough and rocky start, despite that, I will still actually pass this mission on the first try. It's not as bad as you think. Now... If you do end up in the water, don't worry. You could still swim and go on the dock. It's not that harsh. However, you'll have to go to the crates and you will have to get a knife in order for you to proceed. But this also puts you in even more dire straits than what you already are. You see, I had a Magnum and I would, oh, Desert Eagle actually. I had a Desert Eagle and it would have made sharp work of just about every guard in the vicinity. For the time being, that and all of my other weapons are disabled. And they won't return until this mission is over. So, all we have to do is just climb up. And feel very, very bad. Now, we're going to have to get over onto the dam and get to the knife. without triggering the cops. All right, just easy does it. And all we need to do is just grab that combat knife before the security guard shows up. Stealth kills are your friend if you don't have any weapons at all. If you do, then by all means, go ape shit. Stealth honestly isn't the key, but so long as you don't, you know, blow up the dam, everything will be fine. And now it's time to go Metal Gear CJ and also make up for Mad Dog's Rhyme Book, where I stealth everybody in the section except for a couple of guards and Mad Dog's. Come on, asshole, uh, fight. Mansion, and unfortunately, that guy's the only guy that's going to catch me. Oh, and word of warning. After you finish this mission, you will have a one-star wanted meter. Regardless of what you do, or how many people you kill. And since stealth is the key, don't even worry about going along the bottom. There's no need to go along the bottom at all. Any sign of him yet? 
Not yet, but we've locked the Quay entrance and the cops are on the way. All you need to do basically is make your way on the top and just keep yourself hidden. And just wait until the security guards and the engineers are not looking. Hell, you can actually plant your first explosive while you're here. And... Watch out! Dead. Now let's hide in the shadows, or at least here when nobody will see me. And of course the guard ignores the fact that the engineer is dead. Guess what? Da 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 <laughs> And keep in mind folks, there are dark spaces in between these machines that you could hide behind in case you want to hide from the engineers and the security guards. Now, if only CJ had a crate. I'm pretty sure there was another engineer around here somewhere. Ah, there he is. He's right there. Sorry. And I'll plant an explosive too while I'm at it. Now let's hide here and make sure nobody sees me. Oh, he'll see me here. Oh, he really is that stupid. He only goes that far. Okay. So... Here's a hug! Or glitch. Whichever one works for you. And yeah, that was it. Honestly, you don't have to do anything else. Just simply walk out. Shit, they must have took a wrong turn someplace. What the fu- Oh shit, somebody didn't lock the hatch. We've got him trapped. There's no way off that ledge. And as CJ takes a die for victory, it is definitely a well-deserved mission complete. Because I just went all stealth on everyone. See you guys in part 76.